Hello and welcome everyone to the very first Long Island Collaborative Divorce Collaborative Circle of 2021. My name is Liz Vaz. I am the founder of the Long Island Collaborative Divorce Professionals and I'm joined today by my esteemed colleague, Conchetta Spirio. Conchetta Spirio has been a general practitioner for over 30 years. She has experience from debt collection to real estate transactions to divorce. And while she does still do litigation when it comes to divorce, her practice is really focusing now more on mediation and collaborative divorce. And this year, the Long Island Collaborative Divorce Professionals would really like to take the time to spotlight each member who make up our esteemed group and find out what it is that brought them into the collaborative circle what it is that makes them so passionate about the work that they do and why they believe so strongly in the collaborative model. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce my friend and colleague, Conchetta Spirio, and I'd like to turn it over to you and maybe ask you what your thoughts are on what first brought you to collaborative and what keeps you going with it. Well, thank you, Liz, for having me, and I absolutely adore our group. We're a, a dedicated, true dedicated group of professionals, and I have to say each and every one of them um, is really dedicated to what's beneficial to their clients, um, and that's what this is all about. Um, I've been in, in practice, as you said, for over 30 years and have had a wide variety of things that I've done on litigation and in other transactional matters. Um, I've also been educated and trained as a mediator and collaborative for more than a couple decades, but the public is not aware of the option and the choice and the better path to be taken when they're confronted with a dissolution of their marriage. And that's what this is all about. Um, as a young attorney, I actually had the experience of um, watching my sister, who I'm very, very close to and who's much older than I am, go through a very litigious divorce. In fact, I was subpoenaed and required to testify. So here I, as a professional attorney who had experience arguing before judges and being in the court system and knowing my way around the court system, was called as a witness. And I have to say, the experience was incredibly unnerving um, because obviously I loved the people that were involved in this litigation. It affected my nephews. And I was called to testify on intimate personal relationships within that family dynamic. Um, and as a witness. So I can now understand much better having experienced the personal side of being a witness, even though I had the expertise and professionalism behind me, how devastating that has to be for a lay person to be number one, confronted with a courtroom, the legal setting, and then called to testify about intimate matters involving their relationship with their spouse or their relationship with their children. Um, so that's what's brought me to collaborative because there's definitely a much better way. There's a holistic way of doing this where the clients don't ever have to step into the court. Their paperwork goes to the court. And that's, you know, the, the extent of how they would have to deal with the court system other than having their paperwork processed. So can I ask then when you were first part of your sister's trial, right? And you were up there, you know, uh, on the witness stand, did you think in your mind then that there has to be a better way than to resolve issues this way? I have to say through her entire divorce process and all the melee that came afterwards, I mean, you know, unfortunately her husband was, you know, I'll put for lack of a better word, um, you know, he was, he was difficult to deal with and he would not accept reality. Um, and he cost them their entire fortune and savings. Mm. Um, you know, they basically could have, you know, given the house to the attorneys. That's how bad it was because he wasn't willing to settle the case or face the reality that a divorce was imminent. Um, so to answer the question, I got to witness firsthand not only being on the stand, but watching my nephews have to deal with visit, visitation and custody issues on a, on a continual basis. There was never a time until they were adults and they could tell him what they thought or have some say in what they wanted or not wanted, that that was not a very contentious and emotional state for the entire family. Um, and they were, and to this day, I mean, they, you know, they had the support of family like myself and my, um, my sister's, you know, that, you know, patriarchal family um, were there for her and her kids every step of the way. And I think that they survived because of that and in spite of him, um, because it was that caustic. Um, and they went on to be successful people. My nephew has three kids of his own right now, and he's an amazing father. But he, 
you know, I know that the divorce hurt him. And, you know, you know, he, he as a person had to grow out of those ashes and rise like a phoenix, so to speak. Yeah. And so then what are your thoughts on, say, the future of divorce and the future of collaborative divorce, and specifically here on Long Island? You know, knowing what you saw, knowing the training that you've experienced, and knowing the collaborative cases you've been in, would you say that the trend is moving toward collaborative? Uh, Absolutely. The, you know, when people are giving the option, it's like when you go to the doctor, if you have to have surgery, you're going to get a second opinion. You have to have an informed decision. You need to know the facts. You need to understand the processes that you're going to be facing. Well, the same is true with divorce. And the, unfortunately, our court system is the only thing that people are aware of. Yes, they're aware of mediation, um, but they really don't understand the total dynamics of what's available to them. And I think if more people are educated, you know, who would rather not have, you know, a much more happier process where they can have a future with their family members? Because when you have children, you're always connected to that spouse. And do you really want to put the trauma on your kids of having to choose whether who's going to be at this, that, this event in life or not? Um, so I think it's a truly a key, and that's what's great about our organization is because we're educating the cases that we've had. I know as a practitioner, I love doing them because it's, it's a whole different environment. You're not as an adversary, you're really there to help the people. And it's a whole different dynamic. And the people come out of the process in a much better place and they can go forward with their lives in a way that they would like to see their family in a happy place in the future. Yeah, and I wanted to ask you, that was gonna be my last question for you, right? To wrap it up, to ask, you know, what you personally as a professional experience when you have a litigated case versus a case where you have a collaborative setting and a team and um, all of the professionals surrounding you and the, the different dynamics, you know, how does it feel for you and how do you think it feels for the rest of the team? I think it's amazing because, you know, I've done, you know, I tell clients this, I cannot control what your spouse is going to do and I cannot control what professional they're going to hire. And if you are unfortunate enough for them to hire a high powered litigation attorney that's more interested in building their bank account than helping your family make it through to the other side of this divorce, you know, it's a travesty. Um, and the fact of it is dealing with litigation, even sometimes when I have a good relationship with the colleague on the other side, we try to make the best of it, but you're still stuck in the quagmire of the court system. You're still stuck with clients that don't understand the process and are many times coached or, or, or think that, you know, they have, you know, people in their ear telling them they should get this and they should get that. And they don't necessarily look at it from a holistic point of view of going forward and what their family is going to look like on the other side and what their kids are going to think on the other side. So it's a total different dynamic and the feeling of working with professionals that are truly dedicated to a settlement minded and really the client minded model. So, you, you know, in court, the courts up here looking down, telling you what to do. In our model, you know, it's all about where the clients are and where they want to go. Uh, they drive the ship, not a judge. So it's a very different dynamic. And for me as a, as a professional, it's incredibly much more fulfilling to work with a family that's looking to make a better future for themselves and work through a process in, you know, things might be hot or heated, but we deal with that. And, you know, they find a better way to communicate with one another as well. Yeah, I love that when you say that because it's not, the only answer, right? Because there are times when things are hot and heated, but you do come out with a much better product. And I feel like the professionals come out feeling better and the parties do too. So uh, I wanna thank you, Conchetta, for joining us. Thank you for having for, me. For, for discussing how it is that you came to the collaborative model and really sharing a piece of yourself that's so personal and close to you because it's not always easy to do, but I think that it's great that we take our personal experiences and we use them for the betterment of everyone around us. And I know how fantastic you are as a collaborative attorney and the, the professional world is better to have you in it. Well, I thank you very much. The same is true of you, you know that. So thank you very much, Conchetta, for sharing that personal experience and what brought you to collaborative and really delving deep into the reasons you do it, the reasons that you um, care so much about your clients and the reasons that you really want everyone to know that they have alternatives. So if anyone found any of this uh, interesting and insightful, I really encourage you to reach out to anyone at the LICDP. I certainly encourage you to reach out and read our monthly newsletters. This month, Conchetta Spirio is highlighted in there, speaking about the reasons that she does collaborative, the reasons that she believes in it so strongly, and the reasons that she knows that it's right for Long Island families.
So again, if you or anyone you know is interested in finding out more about divorce or separation, we encourage you to reach out to the Long Island Collaborative Divorce Professionals for a free consultation to find out more about the process. You can reach us at www.licdp.com and we look forward to collaborating with you.